Police are appealing for witnesses after a tour coach came off the A83 at the rest and be thankful in Argyle and overturned. 23 people were taken to hospital following the accident which happened at about 14.10 on Thursday. The Locks and Glens Holidays coach is thought to have been blown off the road and rolled down an embankment before coming to rest near a small lock. The road was closed for a number of hours but has since reopened. There were 51 people on board. The 23 being treated at three NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde hospitals are all said to be in a stable condition. About 20 others were described as walking wounded. On Thursday, Road Policing Inspector Adam McKenzie said, a tour bus which was heading through Argyle was struck by a very strong gust of wind which unfortunately blew it onto the muddy verge, causing the bus to flip on its side and roll down the hill coming to a rest at the side of Loch Restill. C.H. Insp. Fraser Candlish added, this has clearly been a terrifying experience for all of those involved. Inquiries are ongoing to establish the exact circumstances surrounding the incident, however early indications would suggest that the high winds may have been a factor. Police said a multi-agency response had been critical in the aftermath of the crash. Officers were joined at the scene by the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, the Ambulance Service, Argyle and Butte Council, the Royal Navy and the Mountain Rescue Team. BBC presenter Ewan McRaith, who was at the scene shortly after the crash, said emergency services cut the side off the coach to help passengers inside. Although there have been injuries, and serious injuries, these people are very, very lucky, he told BBC News. Some of the more seriously injured passengers were taken to hospital by Royal Navy helicopter. They are being treated at the Southern General, Western Infirmary and Royal Alexandra Hospitals. An RAF helicopter from Lossy Mouth was also at the scene along with a mountain search and rescue team. A spokeswoman for Locks and Glens said, We are providing all necessary support for those passengers who were on board and the relatives of those who have been injured. The driver and the company are co-operating fully with the police investigation to establish the exact cause. Transport Minister Derek McKay said, Our immediate thoughts are with the passengers who have been transported to hospital. He said a rest centre had been set up in three villages hall in Arachar.